All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants' opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to Upscale Love for You. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Upscale Love for You. I am your host for this evening, the legendary Dr. Feelgood, the resident academic and researcher, coming to you all the way live from Northern Virginia. We have an awesome show lined up for you this evening. We received some feedback from the previous weeks, and we want to make sure that we keep giving you what you want. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you to come along and giving us the feedback that was given us on text, email, and phone calls. And I'm going to talk to my lovely two guest hosts. I have, well, one, one just been made permanent. My favorite girl, the Chocolate Pearl. Go on, go on, Chocolate Pearl. Tell me what you got. My sister from the same mister. Hey there, I'm Chocolate Pearl, the one with the chocolate skin and the pearly whites. Here to give you tonight's topics for tantalizing talk. And... Last but not least, the first one in your first one in your mind, the last one out of it, our our amazing co-host, special guest co-host, Dr. Lark for you. Go on, Dr. Lark. Tell us what you're about. Tell us about yourself. Good evening, everyone. I am so happy to be here and be the special co-host for tonight. I'm I'm sitting in for the lovely Dr. Fabulous. Um, who's out cruising somewhere in the Atlantic, I believe. And we are so happy to be here tonight and just want to get things started. Back to you, Dr. Fields. So good. Yes, it is. The man with the golden voice, the lady's choice, and of course, as smooth as a Rolls Royce, the mind of an intellect, the heart of a warrior, and a libido of a, mm. of a baby. <laughs> good one, good one. Mm -hmm. Upscale for Love for You is formatted to entertain, educate, and facilitate self-help, self-love, and everything you want to wish to know about love, relationships, dating, marriage, etc. Upscale Love for You often uncovers hot topics and sensitive issues from tales of singleton to parenting struggles and everything in between. Whether you're actively seeking direction or looking for ways to pass the time or generally looking for a good conversation, Upscale Love for You is here bringing together multiple minds and personalities to have open and healthy discussions about various topics, tantalizing talk from people from all walks of life. No topic is off limits. Now, tonight's topic is going to be a hot one. It's gender roles in relationships. Why do we bring up gender roles? Well, if you didn't know the video, and I wish I could show it to you, but unfortunately, my system's not acting right. I will show you the Cam Newton interview where he says there's a difference between a bad B, y'all know what the B is, I don't want to get demonetized, and, a, and, a, <clears throat> and what he's looking for in the wife. It was his opinion, but a lot of people got mad at him for saying that. Um, he said he saw his example at home. He said he had three parents. He had his mother, his father, and his grandmother. And his mother showed him on what he should expect from a mother. And a, and a wife, and that's what he's looking for. He said a, a, a person who's a boss B or a bad B is a person who looks the part, who says, I don't need no man. I don't need everything. I, I could do it all by myself. They talk a great game, but they won't, they won't say what they gotta say and they, won't, they don't do what they gotta do. So, we're gonna to open tonight with Chocolate Pearl. Chocolate Pearl, my girl, what you got going for us? All right, all right, all right. Um, I have a question about gender roles. Um, the first one is, could gender roles hurt a relationship? 
can gender roles hurt a relationship? And the way Malik is looking, I know he didn't raise his hand, but uh, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> is he frozen? Or <laughs> he looked frozen. Malik. You are muted. The cat, the cat must got Mr. Malik's tongue. Tongue today, yeah, I see that. Does anybody want to answer that question for me? Gender roles can gender roles hurt relationships? Well, I can start. Okay, I can start. Okay, come on, <clears throat> feel good. Tell us what you got. All right, I am more of a transitional, a traditionalist, but I I do think about transitional to where my woman can work but her money ain't, ain't no good in the house. She's going to pay some bills like electric and stuff like that. But that, but her primary focus should be the family. Should be taking care of the house. Okay. Her money is her money. I, I should handle the rest. Now I'm providing protection in, in the form of financial protection, physical prote protection from harm, um, protection from herself. Sometimes you, you gotta help them protect them from themselves. Yes. What, what you mean by that? By that. What you mean by that? And procreation. You know, I I I might I might be a little stingy on the procreation, but I can. But everything else, I can um do that. But sometimes, sometimes a lot of you ladies, not everybody, not all, have a tendency to overthink situations. Hmm. You get into your head, and then you make up this whole thing about something and sometimes you're right i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna take that away because i didn't put my foot in my mouth a lot <laughs> and i admit that to put it you know, in it's hard for a man to admit that he's wrong so, so, sound wrong like he's trying to put it back in there again he yeah, at least gotta tell it i'm gonna put it hey i like the taste of my foot <laughs> um women on the other hand you know two things that modern women don't really do that are attributed to to what women do now Everybody should know how to cook, regardless, male, female. I agree. Whatever, whatever gender you um, whatever gender you decide, you need to know how to cook. You need to keep your house clean, cause some of y'all and I ain't I ain't gonna mention no names, but some of y'all is some nasty nasty buzzards. <laughs> your house be, your house smell like three days of decom. Oh, well, I, I'm I'm and I'm just asking now, why can't he clean up? No, no that's what I'm saying. Saying, Male oh, or female. Okay. This is gender. Okay. This is gender agnostic. This is gender but, neutral. Okay. But we do expect, you know, we always hope, and this this is this may be um this may be kind of chauvinistic, but we expect women to be clean. Mm. Yeah. Because y'all ain't gonna sit on no no y'all ain't gonna sit on no no toilet without wiping it or wash wiping it down. So we expect y'all to be clean. True. Guys. Expectation. Um, yeah, yeah, and and that's what I'm saying. That's why I said that's what I'm traditional. But I'm transitional in the fact that no, she can't stay home all day. She got to do something. Hmm. She, she got to do something. That's all. That's that, those are my takes on that chocolate. Okay. Anybody else? Anson, I know you got something to say. Please tell us. Give us your antics. I mean, I always got something to say. I just uh, <clears throat> I don't think gender roles can be. A hindrance at all in a relationship because that's I mean that's who you that's because that's the reason for a relationship you know you're not winning the relationship to get with someone just like yourself you know I'm, I'm not with the rainbow com flags and the alphabet community so the gender roles is important you know, woman be a woman, man be a man. To the extent of how far you take it is up to you all. You know, and and what you view as what you what you view the roles to be is dependent on you too. So that's the cusp of a relationship is the gender roles. What's your role in the relationship? I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of goes hand in hand okay so when you say i guess you're saying that each person needs to know their role yeah okay mm -hmm. so if would you ever be in a relationship that 
the gender roles is not necessarily um, pertinent or known that they actually know that they have a certain role that they need to follow? Uh, no, because you have to be who you are to that person, to the other person. You know, like you can have an idea of what you should be, but it's what you feel you should be is what you need to be hmm. to to have the relationship work. I mean, you, okay. you live your life by yourself. You, you, you can so, just be stuck in your mind all you want, but if you want to get along with someone else, you need to play your role. Okay. Um, Dr. Lark? So, Anson, um, what if Okay, traditional gender roles, I'm inside the house, he's outside the house, right? Mm -hmm. So what if my guy can't, he can't mow the grass because he has allergies, so he can't mow the grass. Should I go outside and mow the grass if I'm able to do it? That's, that's between you two, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, that's why I said, like, it, it depends on the person you're with as far as what roles need to be met in your relationship like i said in previous weeks relationship has ups and downs mm -hmm. you know one might be able to do what they're supposed to do at the time but they may need to rely on their counterpart until they are able to okay. so you know if that's a gender role that is between you and your man that he do y'all work but he can't do yard work because he hot chewing all the time or he get hives or he always itching and scratching. Then <laughs> that's between you two if you want to go out there and do it or y'all hire somebody else to do it. Like it was distracting. I'm like, who's that talking? No, she got another thing. Look, look, look at her. What? <laughs> what? Okay, what? for the ones that just joined us, the first <laughs> question is, could gender roles hurt a relationship could gender roles hurt a relationship if you want to talk or at, um, respond to it um, there's a option in your reaction box that way you can raise your hand so we can um, call on you if not we might just call on you and see if, you know your answer now you know I'm gonna ask Tracy Come on, Tracy, baby. You my girl. <laughs> you my girl. Come on. Hey. Hey, Tracy, girl. Hey. Hey, hey gangster. Hey, then, hey gangster. <laughs> Don't put that R on it. Don't put that R on it. It's That's gangster. <laughs> there we go. So first, I mean, this one is really, really loaded to me. But first, doctor, feel good. Often, um, so women do overthink, as do men, right? But often we overthink when you guys don't answer our questions fully. So we're, we're assuming things. It's like we asked you one thing, you didn't answer it. So in our head, we're going all the directions it could go when that probably could have been um, prevented had you answered the question in the first place. So that's my first, <laughs> that's my first piece. Um, the, the, the general's piece, in my opinion, there are pros and cons to it. Um, the cons are if, oh, let's turn on. I don't know who's that. The, the counter if people um, don't communicate what they think each gender role is, and then there's expectations um, that, that you know people aren't aware of. And the the other piece is if it stops progress. So if you think and and I think um, Dr. Lark was kind of saying the same thing. If I'm walking in the house um, and the dishes are in there because my husband or boyfriend is like, well, she used, normally does the dishes because that's a woman's thing. Then, then it's going to be a problem, right? So if the dishes are in there, we both ate on the dishes, we both need to, to do them. And then uh, some people use them to their advantage with trying to control people. Like So, so there are cons to it, but the pros to it, if they're communicate, communicated, means that your, your, your house may be in a little bit of better order. Um, your relationship may improve because of that, because the communication is, is there. So I would say there are pros and there are cons to it. I... Um, I'm a today's woman, so I'm going to do everything that my man could. I'm not going to wait for my man to do it. If I can do it, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not waiting around to mow the lawn. If my grass is hot and my calves are mowing the lawn, I'm not going to wait for my man to do it. So that's my opinion. Okay. I see um, Miss Nikki had um, her hand up. 
Did you take it down because you no longer want to answer? No, I was clapping. That oh. was all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the clap. <laughs> but can you give us your take on that? Um, I like the traditional way. Uh, I've watched my parents who've been married for over 50, 52 years. And my dad was is definitely a traditional type of man. Where he takes care of us, takes care of the home, and well, takes care of the the family, making sure nobody wanted for anything. And my mom worked outside the house as well, but they were able to work together and were able to retire um, right when they turned fifty. So um, I'm looking for some type of role in a man that that my father has shown me. So. I have no problem with the man taking care of the house, making the decisions. Um, hopefully he would think about asking me for a few things, um, my opinion, especially if it's like painting the house a certain color. But <laughs> other than that, <laughs> other than that, I do agree that the man should be the head and leading the family in the right way. Okay. Good, good. Chocolate Pearl, I think Christy put something in the chat. Um, Christy D. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, talk about that a little bit. Christy D. says, yes, gender roles can hurt a relationship if the roles are tied to expectations that are not shared. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more, if, if you can or would like, Christy? Um, well, one of the previous uh, uh, people spoke on it a little bit as far as especially when people come into relationships with preconceived notions of expected roles that, um, you know, oh, I saw my mama do this, so I expect my wife to do it. Well, did y'all have the conversation? Because, you know, that might not be your wife's understanding or idea, uh, which can hurt the relationship. Because um, a lot of us will do that and say, oh, well, my grandma did this or my mama did this, so that must be what a woman needs to do and that must be the type of relationship but you have to understand that society as a whole and everything even the makeup of families is different now than it was back in your mama and your grandma's day right. you know there's very few households that can make it with just one income a lot of times in order to even be somewhat similar similar to middle class you have to have two incomes there's no way around it you know right. so you can't sit there and say oh well, I need you to be um traditional in x y and z but I still need you to work outside of the household and, you know, do this, that, and the other. You can't have it both ways, you know. Right, right. I need you to be traditional, but, oh, we also need you to do this as well. Right, So there has right. to be some give and take yeah. on it. Now, I, I, at one point when I was married, um, the, I guess we didn't live a traditional um, gender role relationship um, because of how I grew up you know, my brother and sisters and I, we kind of was brought up to hustle. So we didn't wait for whose whose role is this and whose role is that. Amen. If it needed to be if it needs to be done, we did it. Um, in my relationship, I was I, I used to tease a lot and say I was the man and he was the woman because he would do more of the housework. And I would do more of the outside work. I would fix the cars. If the cars broke down, literally, he would call me and say, my car is not running. Or, you know, mm -hmm. I actually changed brakes. I changed um, tires. I, I did change oil. When, his, when the battery died, I literally had to leave work and come and rescue him for the, for the battery and get that fixed. That's so risky. I was in a traditional uh gender role, like what we thought our parents grew up where the man took care of all the mechanics and the and repairs and, and, and made most of the money. Where in my relationship, I made most of the money. I did most of the repairs. I mean, I literally put in a toilet. I put in a hot water heater. Mm. I painted the house. <laughs> Only thing I did not do was mow the lawn, which I knew how to do it, but I I just don't like the sun, dude. I just imagine you do. Hey, and don't forget you would have you 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 had the uncle sandals of barbecue. Oh yeah, I had to, yeah, and yeah. And I, I was the one that liked the barbecue. I, you know, I got a grill for my birthday, you know. Oh, okay. So it, it's just the, the gender roles with my relationship, if it needs to be done, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna wait to say, okay, whose role is this? 
fortunately, I didn't like washing dishes. He loved it. It was a pastime for him to wash dishes and wash clothes. That's yeah. what you want to do. <laughs> but so I wasn't a traditional um, mm. gender role couple. <laughs> I think I'm still not. I'm trying to learn to be because um, I just want to sit back and just watch him do everything. Okay, um, I see. I don't know whose hand was up first, but I'm going to go Farrah. with Sarah. It was Farrah, then um, Tracy, then, then Tracy Sonya. Okay. 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 Hi. Okay. Um, I don't know about traditional roles in, you know, in a, in a relationship because none of my relationships have been traditional. So how I'm raising my boys is similar to how I was raised. You're going to know how to cook and clean and, and, and at least try to depend on yourself if you don't have a partner. That's how I feel. Don't, if you have a partner, help your partner out. My youngest son is so like that. His girlfriend doesn't have to lift a finger and it kind of bothers me, but that's how they run their relationship. I'm never like that. I don't like to cook. So I like men that know how to cook <laughs> type thing. So I don't know if, if it actually should matter. Long as long as you, like everybody's saying, long as you communicate that in the beginning or at least sometime during your relationship, you sit down and have that conversation. Say, this is what I expect. And this is what I'm willing to, to accept. Okay. How about you, Tracy? Um, Chocolate, I, for, I, I swear we're sisters because you say like exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, no, she didn't. Um, I too was brought up with the hustler, hustler mentality. But then I thought of something. Um, you know, this is like my own little personal therapy session. Um, if we continue to do that, and I'm, I'm exactly what you said, doing it, I'm not waiting for anyone, or en enabling a lazy behavior in a man that's one. And then some men complain then that we're emasculating them because we're taking their roles from them. The first one is the enabling one, because this one is a personal one for me. Like, did I, because I do everything and don't ask for help, am I enabling his behavior? Of mm. that, right. that, that one's deep for me. So can a man answer that? I really, I, well, I, before they do answer that, okay. I, I'm with you too. I, I felt that um, because I was, I felt more masculine in my, relationship i didn't feel him to to be complacent in the relationship exactly uh -huh. so so to me because i was masculine in that relationship it harmed my relationship and it made him complacent and it made him say okay she'll do it mm -hmm. you know? and then clap for it oh my i got a strong woman i bet she is strong because you're sitting on the couch so i, I yeah Good right because he said oh i don't care if my wife made more than me Okay. Right, you should care. <laughs> you shouldn't mind, but you should care. You know, yeah. <laughs> because of the fact that you should strive for more. As and and the biggest thing in relationships, when it comes down to gender roles, is when somebody allows another person to be complacent. Mm -hmm. When that and so that right. ruins a relationship. Bottom line. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody else. <clears throat> Their hands up before Farrah, but it was Tracy, Sonia. Sonia, hold on just one moment because Tracy wanted a man to kind of answer that question, even though I kind of stepped in a little bit. And the emasculating, do you guys feel emasculated? Yeah, by that. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you, Malik. What's up? What's up? What's up, family? Hey, Malik. Um, I, I, I kind of agree with the uh most of the panel i think everybody has roles in a relationship i'm feeling that um all that stuff got to get discussed in in you know in the beginning when you start kicking it uh and i'm always saying things like this you know everything understood don't need to be explained like say if me and dr lart if we started to kick it we're gonna put all things on the table i'm gonna tell her what i like what i don't like i'm gonna expect her to do the same thing in return and mm -hmm eventually we'll you know weed out the kinks to the point that we'll know if we are compatible that's a very key word and uh, as you're moving forward so i don't be wasting my time and she don't be wasting her time you know then we can get to uh fantasies and things i like 
what you're used to, what I'm used to, what I like, what you don't like. So then you, we can get to that. Then you can start, you know, it's like a weed out process. It's like a job. When you go uh, UPS, FedEx, you put in a resume, shoot your best shot. They, they're going to read it. They're going to go over it, but they're going to find the best candidate to fit the job. And relationships is similar like that to me. You know, it's about a process of elimination. That's why we all, you know, bring the A game. You know what I mean? Because and let may the best woman or man, quote unquote, win. That's what I feel. So you're saying that gender roles in your relationship is more of an equal role? Well, it depends on, um, uh, yeah, I, I like to cook. I like to grill. And uh, for most women I always dated, I prefer, I want them to, I like to cook. You know okay. what I mean? So it's like, you know, because I take pride in that. You know what I mean? I cook collard greens, steaks, shrimps. Um, I even did... Sunday, I mixed, I don't know if y'all hip to this. Check this out, Dr. Uh, feel Good. I mixed two greens together. Mm -hmm. A turnip and, and two collards and turnip greens. I, I did them two together. They taste yeah, hit that leg. Okay, that, that that's old. Cool. Everybody does that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, get my point. I like to cook and I enjoy it and uh basically kind of like a as a hobby. So yeah. That's okay. Where I'm at. Thank you, Malik. Um who was it? Dr. Lark. Um, are we waiting to hear from another guy it, first? No, it was Sonia. The, Sonia, there you go. Sonia. Sonia, go ahead and give us your text, sweetie. Hello, everyone. Can y'all hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, my question was already answered, actually. Um, it was for Miss Chocolate Pearl because I'm a pretty strong person as well. I do everything inside and outside of the house as well. And my question was just going to be related to the level of respect or resentment you may have had towards your husband because you were the get it done type person and watching him kind of sit back and enjoy the ride while you're putting in all the work. I was just wondering, you know, but you already yeah. said it did harm the relationship. Yeah, it so. did harm the relationship. I did feel a little resentment. Um, I am, uh, I was raised to, to be, like I said, a hustler, get it done. If it needs to be paid and you ain't got the money, find a way to get it legally, but find a way to get it. You know, I used to do jewelry. I used to decorate. I used to do a bunch of stuff just so I can hustle to make ends meet. But when I asked him to do it, it was like, I ain't getting no extra job type thing, you know, or I, I can't work another job or I can't find another job type thing. So it did have resentment for me as I think about it now that we're divorced that I kind of regret doing that. If I would have allowed him to be a man, and I think it did mas emasculate him because he did tell me, he says at one point he felt like he wasn't a man because of me. Yeah. And, and then I thought about it because I am a strong alpha woman, I have to learn to be at least a B or D. Okay. And I have <laughs> to sit back a little and allow him and, yeah, it may not be in my time. I still have to allow him to be in his time, but it still needs to be a balance. So yes, mm -hmm. to answer your question, it, it did mess up my relationship and um, it made it weaker throughout the years. And that's why um, our season is over. Um, I think the person like who, was in, who, was on the, who was on the sidelines watching, he was supposed to take the lead. Yeah. Now you, you've seen me in multiple relationships and I have never taken, I have, I've always taken the lead. Right. Now that's not, that's just, you know, we confer leadership as masculine, which is not always true, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we have to, you know, in order for you to rest and to get that, like I said, that protection, right. you, the guy has to be able to protect. And that, that doesn't right. mean beat somebody up. Right. That means protect, you know, to put you in a position where you're not even worried about money. You're right. not worried about what How you're not worried get... about stuff being broke. Right. You're right. not worried about laundry not being done. Cause people like um Christy had a good point on there. Um she says that there's, you know, we keep defining masculine and feminine roles. And I'll talk about this a little later, but there's universal things that everybody should know how to do. Mm -hmm. But we never talk about the equitable distribution of labor. Right. And that's where we run. That's what, that's where it gets, that's where, if we're so rigid 
then things are going to, it is, it is detrimental. Right. But if we have, if we understand that I don't like to cook, she like to cook, she going to cook. She don't like to clean. I, I like to clean. I'm a clean. Right. So, you know, you but see, you, that's the but, thing, you know, your you know, your roles, y'all in a relationship, you know, what roles y'all supposed to follow. That way you don't step on each other. Um, uh, exactly. our, our bracket, she had her hand raised. Do so you still want to respond? Rashiba? Um, yeah, I, I, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, until she come back, we're going to talk to you, Douglas. Come on. I know you got something. Hey, Doug. You're very low. We can't, your volume is real low. We can low. barely hear you. Okay. What about now? Yes. Better. A little better. Okay. Yeah, I missed most of what y'all saying, but uh, get the road. Yeah, I believe in it. And so it sounds like, um, Pastor Pearl, you are uh, built up your relationship um, by jumping ahead and letting, uh, and doing. Okay, well, in my former marriage, my wife. Your audio, your like, audio is still for me. I can't. Yeah, your audio is horrible. It's kind of going in and out. <clears throat> yeah, being out, for the ones who just joined us, we're yeah. still on the first question: Is could gender roles hurt a relationship? Could gender roles hurt a relationship? Douglas, can you fix your audio, and right. I can get back to you? What about now? Oh, that's better. much better. Okay. Well, I would say in my marriage, uh, my wife did most of the cleaning, and that was because she had a, a low tolerance for messiness. When I was um living up the yard, you know, uh, I did laundry myself when I couldn't step over the pile. So when we got married, she um, didn't like messiness. So she would clean up and, and wash clothes and stuff. So when we got married, hell, I let her do it. And then, you know, years later, it's like, oh, you never helped. I'm like, it didn't reach my move, <laughs> you know, my action moment. Right. And so, you know, it became, you do that, I do this. Hmm. But so, it wasn't, but it wasn't something that you say that because she's a woman, she had to do it. That's just something that she felt that she, that's something that she had within her that she had to do because she didn't like to have a mess. Well, but it wasn't, ahead. to me, that doesn't sound like it was a gender role. It was well, saying that she, she was more OCD than anything else. Well, no, sort of, kind of. Um, I grew up with two older sisters, mom and grandma. So basically, my childhood was the women did most of the work because that's what I saw. And so that's how uh, I fell back into that. And then I was in the military. Uh, she's like, I can't believe you're in the military. You don't clean up. I was like, well, I had to then. Uh, then, you know, can I, can I ask in the field, you, you know, I'm, I'm good to go in the house. I, can I ask Douglas a question? Because it's always beneficial when I hear from men and, and learn from their perspective. Because we are all from two different planets. That's where we are. And, and that because you gave a good example. Um, so you you continue to see her clean up, and and probably until you couldn't step over it, um, you you just let it go. Did her? I should say, why didn't her cleaning it up all the time because it was there? sort of spark something in you that it needed to be done and you jump in. Like, I really want to understand that piece of it. So if you you saw her continuing to do it, even if to clean, I know a lot of people like to clean. You you saw her doing it so much. Does something go off in a man's head that says, maybe I should help? I, I'm not being smart. I just, I want to know. Well, no, like I said, uh, my childhood, uh, I'm the baby of the family. Well, I did clean up um, growing up a little, but my, what I saw, you know, my mom working, you know, single parent, uh, mom working, older sisters um, cooking and, and cleaning up a lot. So that's what I saw. So that was my example. And then um, when we got married, I know if it was dirty, dirty, I helped clean up, but she jumps to it sooner. So that became routine or whatever. Um, Saturday morning, she used to get up early and, and clean the bathroom. I don't think I ever cleaned the bathroom up in 18 oh. years. Right. So that's what she liked to do. So I, I let her do it. Are you sure she liked to do it or that's what 
had to be done. Exactly. Um, no, well, can I can I say something on that? There and and y'all can disagree, but there's a man clean and a woman clean. That's true. She might have said whenever whenever Doug did it, it may have been man clean, right? But it wasn't woman clean, so okay. she did that. But, well, okay. yeah, that, that, well, that that was with um my, my mother in law. I would wash the dishes, and if I missed uh, one little spot, she'd come back to clean up the whole kitchen because that was just her. Um, but. Mm. Did it spark? Mm. Okay. And she really asked me, I would help. But uh you have to but you didn't volunteer. Like, hey, don't, hey, hey, it was a task that needed to be done and she jumped to it. Go okay. for it. All right, well, I'm running out of time, so I got one more question. Does um gender roles do in gender roles? Do um do they make or break a relationship, a romantic relationship? Obviously, we did answer that type of question because I said that my relationship was, you know, went downhill after a certain portion of it. So for anybody else, this should be a quick answer for this. Does it destroy it? Does it make or break it? I go ahead, Doug. Well, no, okay. Uh, for me, okay. For fine, what what are we talking about? Gender roles. Is, is Gen it, are we are we saying break a well, relationship? No, are we saying that? Are we saying that? Okay, uh, female gender roles. She should always cook and clean just because she's a woman. Is that what we're talking about, or what? Okay. For example, um, can a gender role where a, a woman wants. Well, a man says a woman, a, a woman's place is in the kitchen type thing, and man's place is to make the money. Can can that, if a woman doesn't want to be the one that's in the kitchen, she wants to make the money, and she wants the man to be in the kitchen, can that make or break that relationship? Well, that if goes the, back to, to what the two parties agree upon. Um, mm. 10 times out of 10, there's no conversation on that. Uh, an example, yeah. um, we lived in the subdivision. My lawnmower broke down. The grass got high. Got the notice on the mailbox from the homeowners association. And you know, she's like, "Well, you know, you need to cut the grass. That's what a man should do." Okay, I, we walk in the house. I go in the dining room. I run my uh, finger across the, the dining room table. Oh Lord! <laughs> the table dusty. You need to dust. That's what a woman should do. And now I'm all kind of black baskets and motherfuckers and all this stuff. <laughs> Um, and you don't know why? Then, well, no. See, she she put on me well, that I should I should maintain I should maintain the yard because I'm a man, and so I'm like, well, okay, I can do that. But for me, if you were gonna go there, then the woman's job is to keep the house clean. You see, that, that's it. Because then uh, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, I go outside and point up the street, and it's like, look, look. I'm like, come here, come here, look, look. She's like, what's that? That lady up there cut her grass. I know you didn't. That's why. Oh, oh yes, I did. Okay, so um, Brand, so, uh, without Vaughn, talking, without talking about who's going to do who, what in a relationship, that's the that's causes the problem. Not specifically that there's gender roles. We just hadn't <laughs> decided. Cause she cooked. I I didn't cook. So which meant she went and bought the groceries. Mm -hmm. I didn't okay. go buy. I didn't go to, with her to the grocery store to buy groceries because, well, I messed up early on because I said she doesn't shop like my mama. And <laughs> we see why you're single. All right. So before I go to um to Rashiba and then Shaniqua and then Anson real quick, but um Yvonne put in the comments birth depart um birth depends on the mental maturity of both individuals. One can have an extreme cure of traditional gender roles while the other could could be more liberal in the approach to gender roles. When it becomes narcissistic, then that becomes a huge issue. Good comment. Uh, can we talk, uh, give us something, Rashiba? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Good evening, uh, everybody. Um, just speaking in general in regards to um 
Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I feel like a marriage should be a partnership, you know, 50-50. I don't believe that we're, we should be still living in those times where the woman had to do, you know, the cooking and the cleaning and the man had to do the yard work. You know, I believe everybody have strengths um, and a conversation needs to be had. However, I, I do believe, and this is just coming from experience, that um, when we don't require our men to do certain things, they do become complacent and they feel like they don't have to because they just allow us to take the lead, even though they know that they should with some things. Um, it's supposed to be a partnership. Um, the, the, the entire household depends upon that, you know, and, and establish the roles. But just to go back to traditional, um, then that means that we're supposed to be submissive, right? Mm -hmm. And that is not something that, because honestly, and I know I'm an alpha and, and, and believe it or not, women who are alphas really do appreciate an alpha man. Yeah. Um, we we want to be dominated, but not controlled. We want to see that man be the strength like and the protector. And just to, just given that definition of submissive, like that, oh, we, we want the woman to be submissive to a man. Well, submissive is to conform to the authority. That's not the life that, you know, that's not the times that we live in anymore. You know, there's right. not the times that we, we can't sit home and I have a job and live good, you know, because I tell you, if somebody does that for me, of course, oh yeah, I, all day, you know, I'll do all the cleaning and cooking, but when I have to bring just as much to the table, you know, then that's, there's that mutual respect. Then there's the expectations. And then there's, that's the conversation that needs to be had throughout. So I think if that was done, you know, and I'm even speaking for myself, you know, Ooh. it's a lesson learned. Right, exactly. Very good. I like that. Thank you. Shaniqua? Hi, everyone. So first I want to like to say um, is that I agree 100% with Mr. Douglas. On the flip side, I believe in gender roles to a certain extent. Well, I'm lying. I just believe in it. Certain things I think that men should do. Say, for instance, I don't want to go to the store in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't want to fix a tire. I think I should know how to fix a tire, but I don't want to do it. If you did, you wouldn't do it. I think that, yes, <laughs> certain things for me needs to be gender roles. And um, but on the flip side, say for instance, someone who is in a relationship that there are no gender roles, as long as everybody follows their role, then there's no issue. But let's be clear, when those type of relationships, you have to be flexible because sometimes the roles may change and that's where it may become an issue. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Shaniqua. Anson. I completely agree with both women who spoke before me, especially what Ms. Brackett said. What Ms. Brackett said that was poetry. Like I, I, I wanted to clap so bad. You should. But, have. Uh, you should. Have <laughs> this. Thank you. Fire. No, no. There you go, Ashton. There you go. Don't worry. Really doing nothing Damn. like that. That's now. Touchdown. Oh, that's not a touchdown. That's the man thing. That's the walk. <laughs> Right, 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 right. <laughs> but I completely agree with with, with what both women said, especially what what what, what Miss Brackett said. But uh, to answer your question about uh, gender roles in a sexual manner, uh, duh, of course, yes. Just like I said before, gender roles is important in a relationship, just like gender roles is important in the bedroom. Mm. Because ain't gonna be no pegging me. That's not gonna happen. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. You think that the man should be dominant in the bedroom, and if then, so you don't want a woman to be dominant because that will make or break your relationship. Oh no, I didn't say that. Take me, <laughs> do with me as you will, please. <laughs> Throw me down, <laughs> abuse me, whatever. Mm. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> but a man can. That's a good thing you said. Can a man? Uh, 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 allow a woman to stay in control in the bedroom. Yes. So long as she's not trying to do anything funny to me, like uh, going to the area where she ain't supposed to go. Your back hole. And, and no you control these nuts. 
<laughs> Dr. Feel Good. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, but Sheba had a hand up again. Go ahead and say something. Then I got to pass it on over to my um, guest. I'm just laughing. I'm laughing at that because, um, you know, I was doing these interviews. I was doing these surveys um, on men when it came to, to certain situations. And they talked about how, you know, women will get in the bed, take a shower, and they smell good. And they turn around like they sleep. And, you know, and men want to feel um, the same way, you know, like as far as the woman wanting them and sometimes initiating. Um, it's nothing wrong with that. And just being open and honest about what you want. Just, you know, just you know, we like to play the, you know, we like those, play those little games when we know, you know, we just wait. And as soon as the man don't touch you, you got attitude. So, um, I totally get just going for what you want. Um, and just one, one quick, um, thing about, um, I also heard about, you know, cause I have to get a male perspective when it comes to, I don't think that anybody has admitted to a woman making a man feel less than, you know, I've been told that. And I see now for myself that, it is within them this is the lowest self-esteem that they have within themselves that they have to blame the woman for making them feel you know less than or emasculated or whatever the case is. Right. we don't have that power we don't have that mm -hmm. power to take that from right. them they have they have done that or they have that low self-esteem in them so yes, take your hat you. i bow to you for doing what you did it's nothing wrong with being strong but we want that man to step up and we want that man to say you know what i got this and that's why i strongly believe we will love to be dominated just don't control me because i got your back but mm -hmm. just 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 be that rock just be that protector be that provider that's what we want isn't that All a gender right. role say it again yeah. isn't that a gender role yes Yes. So we, so we but we want role. you to be a strong gender role. So that, that kind of leads us into my next question. And Doug, I'm going to take it straight to you, okay? So my question is, wait, do, do wait, men and wait, women... Wait, 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 what you call me? Doug? And Doug. Who that? Excuse us, Douglas. Say his full <laughs> public name. Oh, Douglas? His full government name, yeah. Douglas it's Richardson? Or Mr. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with Douglas. Um, do men and women still want or practice traditional gender roles in modern relationships? No. The woman, oh, okay. wants, to, the woman wants to be modern, but keep the man at traditional values. But when we uh, allow, not allow, but uh, accept that you want to be an alpha female and try to run stuff and we let you, and then that becomes a problem because now it's like, you're not stepping up. Well, hell, you wanted the equality. There you go. The winter time was the, the great in another Facebook group where all the women was posted. I need a man because I don't want to go out and shovel my snow. Ooh. So it all boils back to conversation needs to be had, which we don't have. Okay. Miss Malik, what's your on that, Douglas? I agree that. Everybody, when they're in a relationship, instead of just going straight to the bed on the first date, they need to have a real conversation about if they get into a relationship, what will be their role? Because like we have so many alpha women that a lot of men feel intimidated by that. But if, in order for us to allow our men to be masculine in everything they do, we have to step back. Well, well I, I hear all this stuff that um, you know men are intimidated by alpha women. It's like most men just don't want to take no shit from them because they're not bringing peace. So we choose not to deal with y'all. Oh, okay. And you're a masculine energy, as the new phrase is nowadays. Oh, okay. So. Mr. Malik, do, are you? Do you have something to say? Yeah. Um, I I think it it kind of goes both ways. I understand the fellas, you know, like um far as the alpha females, alpha males. Um, it, it was a slogan I heard one time, i never forget. It said, behind every pretty woman, there's a man that can't stand her. Oh. So, so every woman that you see flying and, and, and glamorous, it's a dude that's dating her, he, he can't stand her. He ready to get rid of her. So I think it goes back to what the young lady was saying earlier about 
when you got two people and you're on the same level, I go back to that word again, when you're com compatible and got chemistry and you building, when, when, when you're doing that, then it goes back to what I said earlier about the process of elimination. So to, to help cut all that stuff down is it's going to be good communication skills. Then you don't have to deal with those. those if, if, you, if, you, if you can't handle an alpha woman, you ain't going to deal with her because it ain't your cup of tea. You know what I mean? Because I used to go to the club years ago and I had a certain kind of approach that I'd done to, to get women. Mm -hmm. It was a two things. It was like the best approach is no approach. I let women come for me. I don't want to be chasing all around the club like a dog. So I check out who was checking me out. Then I make my, make my selection off of that. You know what I mean? So it's just a process that you can do things to make things better for you. Okay. Okay. Um, y Yvonne, can you talk? You have um, three other people on there. Anson, Shanique, oh, Anson, and did you want to answer? I didn't. I thought his hand was still up from the last time. Anson, did you want to answer that question? Do men and women still want a traditional gender role in a modern relationship? Um. Yeah, I believe that they both still do want but aren't ready for it if that makes sense yes so, it does right, makes perfect right, sense for, for 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 instance uh <clears throat> say a man wants a traditional woman but like we heard so many times tonight we got so many women that don't feel like they should have to be pegged in the traditional woman role it's just like men want a traditional man but you have men that don't feel like they're deserving of a traditional man because they don't want to fulfill traditional women roles. That will lead back to the question of the comment of, of a man feeling emasculated because why should I do all this stuff that I'm doing?